want to interrupt programming for this breaking news. We've been watching an earthquake that happened this morning. Uh, in fact, we are going to be dipping into a news conference that happened just moments ago in Kern County. Let's watch. If power lines and cell lines go down, that capability goes away and is diminished. And at that point, we go door to door. We usually will go door to door, and they currently are out there assessing door to door, looking at structures, checking the damage, checking for any uh, uh, anybody out there that has any emergencies. We're transporting people from some hospitals and moving them into the LA area. So there's a variety of things taking place. We have uh, Red Cross and multiple other agencies helping support and establish um, there for the community, and uh, they'll be out and about continuing until we can uh, make sure everybody's back in their homes. And so if stuff does happen here, what is your first piece of advice for a viewer watching right now? We have many people saying, I don't know what to do. So what would you tell them to do? Get underneath the table. Like, What are some quick tips that our viewers can take away right now for what they should do in case well, of an earthquake? I'll, uh, I'll talk kind of on my way here. Uh, when I received the call, the first thing I actually did was place the call to my wife and my sister and my family and just said, hey, get in contact with your family. Stay in communication. Yes, we're in Bakersfield. This happened in Ridgecrest, but it doesn't mean it can't impact here. I think it's just another great reminder to everybody that uh, you know we only have a limited amount of first responders and resources, and we have a large population, close to a million, and we can't address every single issue. So it's important that our residents are ready, and they have 72 hours worth of supplies. They have a good communication plan with their family. If they have medications or any critical life support, have a plan in case you lose your power, in case you have a disaster. That's probably some of the best advice I can give. Make sure your animals are taken care of, you have plenty of food for them. Make sure you have a, a ample supply of water. And so we will be working and coordinating some sort of support out there. Um, I'm sure there's gonna be some centers established. I know there's currently a couple to mitigate what, um, what we have out there, but we will establish more and support the community. But if you're in your home, Right now, okay. something happens, what do you do? Well, if you're in your home, we don't want you running out into the open. We want to find a good, secure um, way to, to uh, support. Something has nice support to get your body under, maybe a, a strong table. That way you're just covering yourself. Um, and then just stay calm. I think the most important is stay calm, have a plan, and implement that plan. And for people who have no idea how to sign up for Ready Kern, um, how would they do that? So they can go to www.readykern.com or they can go to Kern County Fire's website and you can sign up there. Um, and you can also contact the uh, Kern County OES and they can also manually sign you up. Should they keep an eye on your social media platforms in case they don't have Ready Kern? What is the other platform you tell them to keep? Yeah, um, most importantly, probably the first one is radio. Uh, radio is one of the best ones that doesn't go down after a while.